To prepare nurses for safe practice, educators must ensure that each learner develops specific levels of clinical judgment throughout the program. Yet currently, no tool exists to use an unfolding case study to measure clinical judgment levels that each student and graduate nurses possess at a given time until now. I'm Keith Risher, founder of Keith RN, and I'm excited to share a new groundbreaking tool to use with Keith RN clinical reasoning case studies. Though high fidelity simulation is a best practice to develop clinical judgment, it is faculty intensive and expensive. As a result, most students do not get enough simulation experience. But what if you could assign a case study at any point in the program that students complete and then use a grading rubric to assess and track the student's clinical judgment with a numerical score? For the first time, this is now a reality. And let me explain. I created the Keith RN Clinical Judgment Rubric with feedback from other educators, including Dr. Kathy Lassiter, the creator of Lassiter's Clinical Judgment Rubric, which integrates Tanner's clinical judgment model used in high fidelity simulation since 2007. Since Keith RN case studies also integrate Tanner's clinical judgment model using open-ended questions, this rubric will be reliable only if Keith RN case studies are used because most other case studies are multiple choice items and do not align with Tanner's framework. Just as Lassiter's clinical judgment rubric breaks down the four clinical reasoning processes of Tanner's clinical judgment model into 11 observable clinical judgment skills with four levels of proficiency, so does the Keith RN clinical judgment rubric. Each of the 11 clinical judgment skills is scored one to four based on the level of proficiency. To implement the rubric in your program, use a Keith RN clinical reasoning case studies like an examination, preferably while students are on campus so that it can be monitored. Faculty can then score the case study using the rubric and get a numerical score of the student's clinical judgment. A simplified scoring worksheet is included and can be used for any level of Keith RN clinical reasoning case study, next gen, skinny, or unfolding reasoning. When the rubric is completed, notes and feedback can also be shared with the student to provide student reflection that can also further develop clinical judgment. If the more concise next gen or skinny reasoning level is used, the clear communication and recognizing patient problem subcategories under the responding process cannot be assessed since these questions are not included in these shorter levels. These subcategories are highlighted in light orange on the rubric as a reminder. As a result, the scoring will be slightly different. The goal for first year students should be at the developing level scored at two points with 11 processes. So if using an unfolding reasoning case study, the total score would be 22. Second year or advanced students should be at the accomplished level scored at three points with 11 processes. If using an unfolding reasoning case study, the total score should be around 33. To receive a free Keith RN case study plus the rubric, scoring sheet, and instructions, go to the KeithRN.com homepage and complete the form. If you are already a Think Like a Nurse member, my web-based platform that contains hundreds of Keith RN case studies complete with answer keys, go to the What's New section in the upper left-hand corner of the home page and download the rubric. Clinical judgment is the most important skill your students must possess to ensure safe entry into practice. Using the Keith RN clinical judgment rubric provides a quantitative score that assesses clinical judgment and provides needed student feedback. Using this rubric now makes it possible to track clinical judgment skills over time to determine if benchmark levels of clinical judgment are developing and present, which may translate to NCLEX success, but more importantly, safe entry and transition successfully into practice. <music>